بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس سو دس سیشن از اباؤٹ یوزنگ دا پروگرام فرو کنٹرول انسٹرکشنز ہاؤ ٹو یوز دیم اینڈ وٹ آر دی یوز فار سو ان دا اسپیسیفک ویڈیو ول بی اسٹارٹنگ اباؤٹ دا جمپ انسٹرکشن سو فرسٹ آف آل ول نو دیٹ واٹ از اے جمپ انسٹرکشن اینڈ واٹ ڈز اٹ ڈو دا جمپ انسٹرکشن کین بی فاؤنڈ آؤٹ ان دس پروگرام کنٹرول ٹیب اینڈ ہیئر یو کین find it out G J M P so you can see that I have a set of rungs over here uh, approximately five rungs and I have connected the input switch one to the output two slash zero which is this one and this one is empty I'll show you why I have the, kept this empty and there is a rung two and three where I have input switches two and three corresponding to the output which is 1 2 and then the fourth input switch corresponds to the fourth output switch now what i'll do is that i'll place this jump over here if you can see that if i delete it i can also drag it out and place it over here i want it over here so i've placed it in the rung number 1 and this jump instruction is referencing to an address which is q2 colon 0 now what i'll do is that i'll pick this label lbl and place it on the rung 3 okay so what i've done is that i've picked the jump component from this tab and i've placed it over here and i've picked the label instruction component from here and placed it in the rung 3 now what does it do it simply controls the flow of instructions of power from this rung to this rung so basically this input switch over here which is input 1 colon 1/1 uh, will control the input instruction of this jump component over here and if turned on this will jump this rung and execute this one so this would be ignored that is rung number 2 would be ignored and the control would be sent to this q2 colon 0 rung 3 so let me run it for you and the thing would be clear to you so i've just downloaded to plc and now i'll go online and select run from here so you can see that if i turn switch number 1 on it turns the output to slash zero on now if i turn this input one slash two which is this one if i turn it on it would turn the output to slash one on which is this one okay so what i'll do now is that i'll turn on the jump switch so i've turned on this jump switch which says that i have ignored this ig uh, rung number 2 and i have jumped to rung, rung number 3 which is over here so now if i turn this input switch 2 on you can see that the output 2 slash 1 is not turning on the power has been uh, turned off or the control rung for this has been turned off and it's not being executed why because the jump instruction has jumped over this rung and this rung is now being completely ignored now if i turn it off or on it would not show any response you can see but if i turn this jump off you can see that now the switch is working in perfect condition and the output 2 slash 1 is being turned on in the normal way similarly now i can turn the input 3 also on input 4 also on but these input 3 and input 4 are not being altered by this jump instruction why because they are not inside the jump uh, component and the label one so they can't be ignored so whenever you want something to be executed in priority if some condition goes true you can use this jump label and what will happen is that if you would turn this jump on the rung that lies between the label and the jump instruction would be ignored you can see that it's being ignored and even if i turn the switch on it stays off 
now the input switches that are far off or beneath or at the front of this label they would not be controlled by the jump, uh, jump instruction you can see that if I turn this input 3 or input 4 on they are still being turned on easily because the jump has jumped to these rungs and the control or the execution part is being handled by these switches what is happening is only that this rung number 2 has been ignored and it would be uh, it would not be used or uh, use it or be usable in this uh, logics pro program so you can use this jump instruction in your uh, lab tasks or uh, the programs that you want to implement so that's all about the jump instruction uh, i hope you will be able to learn it fast and if there's still any question or query you can mention it in the comment section thank you